This video is a combination of different exercises and I hope you enjoy it. I'm Fleming Quack and this is Basic Feather. Basic Feather is a brand founded by myself plus Morten Frost, the former All England champion. What we want to do at Basic Feather is create high quality products with a simple design at reasonable prices. So if you haven't heard about Basic Feather before, please check us out at basicfeather.com. We would love your feedback, so please let us know. The first multi-feeding exercise is uh, feeding to the back of the court. It's random and the player can choose any shot they want to play, whether they want to play drop shots, slices, if they want to play smashes, whatever. But it's making sure that the player is uh, moving well on the back of the court and make sure that the player is not hanging in the corners, but still moving forward a little bit. In this exercise, it's important that the feeder is not feeding too quickly because if it's too quickly, then the player can't really get back into good balance. So make sure that they've got just a little bit and good time. Once again, we have to reiterate that it's so important that you reach the shuttle as early as possible, as high as possible. I know we said it many, many times before, elbow up, get it as high as possible. That's the key. This exercise is about uh, aggressive play, when you choose to attack from the back of the court and then the follow-up. This exercise is an aggressive exercise, it's when the player in, in charge is choosing to attack, go for the, uh, the big smash, a block is coming, and then of course it's the follow-up, and it's all about that follow-up, good enough to make sure that you can play a tight spinning net shot. Often when I see players practicing, it's extremely important that the feeder is good. And in this exercise, the feeder becomes extremely important. You have to be really low, good lunging. Making sure that you hit proper good length on your shots, because otherwise the exercise doesn't work. You can play three lifts, you can play four, you can play five, whatever takes your fancy. As and when the smash is coming, of course the block is coming, and then the spinning net shot, and we start all over again. One of the things I talk a lot about in my training when I, I coach other players is that they shouldn't be hanging in the corners. And this exercise is really good for that because as and when you choose to go for the attacking shot, it's all about being moving forwards and getting into the court, making sure you're not hanging in the corner and get to the net as early as possible. So the butterfly exercise, that's at least what we call it in Denmark, is um, super simple. The first one is an offensive one where you play the cross cut. You get a, a straight block shot where you just play it straight back and then you get the lift. So you're able to move to around the head, play the cross one and then move to the net again. So you always move on like the diagonal back straight, diagonal back straight, diagonal back straight. So it's a, it's a very, very simple exercise. The reason why we do this is to practice moving in, in patterns. Once you play the, the cross cut, a straight block will come, so we might as well just practice it. The two feeders are extremely important in this exercise because again, they are able to, to control the pace of this exercise and they have to be mindful if the one doing the exercise is out of balance, a bit under pressure, or they do have time. So that's why if you notice the feeders in this exercise often pick up the shuttle almost at the ground. So it feels very match kind of like. If I meet the shuttle too early, I'll break the rhythm for the one doing the exercise. For the footwork when doing the offensive uh, exercise, there are no really right or wrong. It depends a lot on the situation. If you have time, use the rotation. If you don't, you might maybe in the forehand corner use the China jump a bit more. We have done some videos on the footwork and I'll put them in the description. So have a look at those if you want to know how to move uh, diagonal, for example. 
The butterfly exercise you can do it in a lot of ways. We have also done it in a defensive way where the one doing the exercise plays a straight, deep forehand or backhand. They get a cross court shot. They have to run diagonal, play the straight one. They get a straight lift, move backwards, play the straight from the forehand, get a diagonal and so on. So you can use it as an offensive exercise or as a defensive exercise, that's totally up to you. So we have shown the exercise with uh, one shuttle. You can also do this as a multi-shuttle exercise. Again, it's up to you. You're able to do it as a warm-up exercise. You're able to do it as a high pace exercise. Play with it. There are no rules uh, in this game. It's just about moving in, in patterns and getting used to how to move on the on the court. So we have shown like the butterfly model in, in two exercises. You can use it in a lot of ways. You can add on some, some straight or cross clears. That's totally up to you. You can play the, the cross deep corner instead of the straight one. This is just for inspiration. I hope you guys are able to put on some exercises together so it makes sense for, for you and, and your game. The next multi-feeting exercise is uh, the feeder move towards the tee, standing at the front of the court and then starting to feed the player in the best possible way. Again, it's completely random. Make sure there's a good pace to it. Make sure that the player can just reach it. Reach it. Make sure that the pressure is perfect. This exercise is all up to the feeder, really, to, to sense and feel what kind of pressure is needed and to do it exactly enough to make sure the pressure is on, it's not too much and it's not too little. The final exercise is just throwing the shuttles from side to side and then it's about playing the spinning net shots at the net but make sure again that the pressure is good the pace is good make sure that the player has got time enough to play a proper shot but still slightly under pressure when you're coaching the player make sure that the player is just not running from side to side at the net but make sure that we have a little bit of a v-shape to to the movement make sure that the player is coming back and moving into the net coming back and moving into the net again make sure that we have that small v shape to to the exercise otherwise the player is just running from side to side and that's not really what's happening in a match Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We promise to keep providing a lot of new badminton content for you and hopefully you'll find it valuable in your badminton journey. Remember, we not only provide a lot of badminton content every week, Basic Fetter is also a badminton brand and you can always check us out at basicfetter.com. See you online or see you next time.